in the studio, obviously. And for this background, I decided to go a little bit more neutral gray purple tones because let me flip the camera on and I'll show you what the rest of these look like. Because so far I have a lot of blues and greens. So I decided why not mix it up a bit, change it up and go a little bit more neutral gray purpley. So here it is, today's background. And now I need something to put on top of that background. So I'm getting out my Derwent Inktense pencils and I'm sketching on to a piece of tracing paper. This is for the black birch tree. And as you can see, once I add some encaustic medium to that, that tracing paper pretty much becomes completely clear. So I'm just finishing up this sketch with adding some more yellows and oranges into it. Again, using the Derwent Inktense pencils, dipping them into water and then sketching directly onto that encaustic covered tracing paper. And you'll see, I decide to actually not embed this piece of tracing paper into the background. Instead, I transferred the tree, the sketch of the tree onto the background. And I'm going to be using several layers of encaustic paint, several colors rather of yellow encaustic paint and just painting directly on to that background. This adds a little bit extra texture as when the wax kind of dries and kind of hardens up, it adds a little bit of texture to the painting. One last fuse and this piece is done. As always, thanks so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did, please.